did cook the bacon. So we've got that ready and I've got the bacon fat, which everybody loves, to put in and we'll start that in this pan here. We'll get that melted and hot. And when you do this um, at home, you're gonna just go ahead and cook the bacon. There really wasn't a whole lot of fat going on in there. I was really surprised. Um, but you're gonna reserve two tablespoons to, to cook, take the rest out if you, you know, depending on what kind of bacon that you buy, if it's real fatty, then you, know, you only want a couple of tablespoons that we're gonna cook our onion and our um, green pepper and our um, celery in that. Uh, there are no little brown things on the pan. If you had bacon cooked in here, there would be, and you would just, you know, when we get to the liquid part, you're gonna kind of scrape those up. So we're not gonna have those good flavors in this one, but you are in the ones that, um, the one that you're gonna sample. We're also gonna cook some jalapeno with this. I don't know if everybody is familiar with um, uh, jalapeno. You have to be careful with these. I'm just gonna set it aside for a minute while I'm cutting the green pepper here. And I've already cored out the green pepper. I was gonna cut it up, but I thought, well, somebody might know that I don't have knife skills. So I thought, well, I better, I better do that. Show everybody I can actually do this. If there isn't anybody that comes in here and cuts all this and everything for me. That would be nice. Then I could just come in and teach the class. That'd be good. Okay, so we're just gonna cut the, dice up the green pepper however you want. I like to kind of leave them a little bit small. This is one soup that we're gonna leave as whole pieces. If you've looked at the um, creamy um, black bean soup, we are going to put that in a food processor and, and grind, it, uh, grind it down. Grind it down, process it down, I guess is a better word. Okay, we got our baking fat going in that pot. Oh yeah, I was gonna start everything else too. This might be a fun class to kind of try to keep up with because I did turn everything on. So we're going to kind of get everything started at one time. Okay, here's our green pepper for that. All right, so in our front pan here, or back pan to you, this is going to be our corn and shrimp chowder which we're going to, we've got our bacon fat melting. We're gonna add our green pepper, our onion, and our celery, and our jalapeno, and I'll cut that in a minute. Our bacon fat has um, melted, so we'll put our onion in, and our green pepper, and our celery. Give that a quick stir. I have to some of, turn some of that down. Okay, now we're going to put our jalapeno in there. And I am going to put gloves on for this because while I'm doing this, I'll probably forget and touch myself. Okay. With the jalapeno, what you have to worry about is the seeds. So I like to um, cut the top off then split it down, and then just simply, simply cut out the seeds. Now you can do this without wearing gloves. Just make sure that you wash your hands afterwards. Don't touch your eyes. Because that will burn. Okay. I'll, if anybody has one of those choppers at home you know, that you, I think Pampered Chef has a um, one. Uh, I think you saw it on TV. I like to use that for doing. Oh, I have never seen so many seeds. Good grief. But I like to use that, then you don't have to worry. It chops in that little plate in the bottom. And 
and you don't have to have it all over your board or anything else. Okay, there's our two pieces. We're gonna throw that away. All right. And then we're simply just going to chop these up real fine. Like I said, if you've got one of those choppers, you know what I'm talking about like that. I think that's really good for mincing these. I think that's about all I use it for because I hate to clean it. And I like to chop these up kind of fine. You don't want somebody getting a big... Like I said, I like to chop this up fine just, just so nobody doesn't get it. Nobody gets a... I can't talk and chop at the same time. Just so nobody gets a big piece of jalapeno in their soup. That in there. Okay, that's looking good here. We've got some flour that is going to be our um, uh, thickening agent. So it says to whisk this into some um, chicken broth. So I like to just do it in a little measuring cup rather than to do the whole thing here. Okay, I'll just take that off for a little bit. So we're gonna put a little bit of the chicken broth in here with the flour. That's good, and we're gonna put the rest in here. So we've got our chicken broth in here. Here's our flour and a little bit more chicken broth. Kind of thicken that up. We're gonna get let that come to a boil. And then let it come to a boil. That's about three cups of corn. Okay, we'll let that come to a boil. Okay, because after we've got that cooking for about 30 minutes, Although we're going to shorten the time a little bit because we've got to try all this stuff. And the cilantro just adds a little bit to the, to the flavor of it. If you don't like the, the flavor of cilantro, that's fine. You can leave it out. I know sometimes it's a acquired taste. It took me a while to, to get to enjoy the flavor of it. I thought there was something bad in the stuff I had with cilantro in it. But now I like it. And it's not just for uh, salsa. One thing you do want to be careful when you do this is to, um, you know, it says gently stir in your shrimp and your cream. Um, if you add the cream too fast, it's going to curdle. So you want to just be careful with that and not let the soup kind of come to a boil after that. I'm just going to chop this shrimp up a little bit. This is a pound of the cooked shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and put that all in. And we're going to go ahead and add our heavy cream. Now this really, you know, it's, it sounds heavy cream. Is that a diet thing? No, but you've got a lot of soup here and this is just gonna give it the creaminess. So that looks yummy. On a cold night with some garlic bread, that will be perfect. There is our, what is it, corn and shrimp chowder. Mm -hmm.